Speed is very important in medicine, and if you're a patient, waiting for a result is quite scary. In terms of correspondence time, that's one of the critical things that we have issues with. If you have inherent delays in that, that increases the anxieties. And in the day and age when we have IT systems available that can do things incredibly quickly, I think we should embrace those. were increasingly getting behind with correspondence. If your letters are six weeks behind, after a few days people or patients or GPs haven't heard anything and they start phoning up. So the more behind you are, the more phone calls you get. So the worse you get and the further behind you get, it is a, a vicious circle downwards. We had so many notes, we couldn't even fit them on all the shelving. So they were all over the floor and literally you were climbing over them. The working life for the medical secretaries was extremely stressful. They had big typing backlogs, they had medical notes all over the offices. They weren't able to deal with things in a timely fashion. I will see patients who come in as heart attacks and this patient will arrive in 10 minutes and I need to know as much about that patient as I, as I can get hold of. If a patient came in for surgery and they had been to the cardiology department the day before, their notes wouldn't have been typed up previously and they wouldn't be there. And I'd have to call up the secretary in charge to find out what was happening and what the cardiologist has said. The idea that by being part of this project, we could shorten communication times was very attractive and very exciting to actually get involved from the ground floor. The new solution that we've implemented with Spines and Cardiology has made a real difference. It took very little time to get used to and within a week if somebody had said you could go back to the old system I would hate to. The most important thing that clinical correspondence has done in the department is it has given us much more immediate access to patient information. Previously what I would do is switch my computer on or log in and then start setting up bring up any other previous notes that were stored, complication letters, and each of the separate blocks. That's what I would do for the first five to seven minutes after I started. Nowadays, all I do is to click when I have all the notes that I want. It takes me about a minute to two minutes. Part of the deployment is not only storing the documents that are created in the solution, but it's also migrating the historical documents from our own shared drives into the new system. So we've actually got the legacy work in there as well which has been great. I can see what the vascular surgeons are doing and the vascular surgeons can see what I'm thinking without necessarily having to hunt through a sheath of notes and, and the crucial letter will be there, it won't, be, it won't have fallen out. So that will undoubtedly improve patient care. It's so much better in so many different ways. It means you don't have to have paper printouts. The advantage of that is you don't kill so many trees, which is one of my other reasons that I found printing a lot so frustrating. It's a lot less time consuming. It's easier to get the patient details. Uh, if a patient rings asking for information, it's really simple just to get their last clinic letter. It's just made everything a lot more efficient. It's literally clicking and populating a couple of fields with the dictation that they do. And then you just you wait for the letter to be approved and it is really, really quick. It's half the amount of time that it takes us to type a clinic. It leaves us free to do other work that we need to be doing as medical PAs, really. Because we're so up to date, they've asked me to help another department, which I'm doing from my desk in cardiology, and I'm having to go back to the old system, and it's so much slower. The impact on cardiology is phenomenal. They have continually sustained their position so that they're real-time typing. As the patient leaves the clinic, Quite often we're typing that letter, which would have been unheard of six months ago. When the secretaries were up to date, things came back very quickly. There's a lot less movement of files and personnel all over the place, everything is available electronically. And so that is a hugely more efficient use of resources for the hospital. We all think it's a massive step forward in terms of how we communicate with our colleagues and with our GP colleagues as well. Since clinical correspondence has come in, I spend uh, a lot more time dealing with patients other than doing clinical stuff. It improves everything, it makes everything more efficient. I think the other departments are just itching to get started after hearing such good things about it.
people have heard the rumbles about it and how good it is and they have been keen for it to be rolled out to them. We would expect by the end of the rollout that most departments would it certainly be meeting trust targets for turnaround times of typing but hopefully real-time typing. In the end it saves money but more importantly improves patient care and confidence. It's really exciting to be a part of it because it's a good product, it's got huge benefits for us, it's making my staff very happy. The most important thing is it's making patients very happy because they're receiving their communications from us in a speedier fashion.